We are celebrating Western New York again tonight, highlighting and honoring a local icon who has taught and inspired so many. Today, local historian and author Dr. Ava M. Doyle was honored with a library auditorium that now bears her name. Channel 2's Jeff Preval is here now in the studio with more. Jeff? Yeah, hi there, Scott and Mary Alice. Well, this library auditorium isn't just some place for people to gather for performances and the like. It's considered a second home for Dr. Eva M. Doyle, who has held more than 100 educational programs in that auditorium that now has been named after her. Dr. Doyle has a long list of contributions and accomplishments in the city of Buffalo that spans decades. Newspaper columnist, activist, lecturer, expert on African and African American history. The Frank E. Merriweather Jr. Library Auditorium on Jefferson Ave has now been renamed Dr. Eva M. Doyle Auditorium. Should we call you Dr. Doyle? Or Mother Doyle? Or Mother Doctor? <laughs> or Dr. Mother? <laughs> My answer is this. Whatever you feel comfortable doing, because the most important thing to me is teacher. And Dr. Doyle taught in Buffalo schools for 30 years, inspiring others and encouraging people to read, read, read. And even though she is retired, she continues to follow her purpose in life to teach future generations. I never imagined that one day I would be here for a ceremony when my name would be part of this great library. It is especially an honor because the library itself is named for a pioneer in journalism. And today's dedication was lovely with kids, her kids there, music, prayer, and by proclamation, Mayor Byron Brown declared today Dr. Eva M. Doyle Day in the city of Buffalo. And if you're ever on Ferry Street and you turn over to the Freedom Wall, MLK, Malcolm X, Rosa Parks, many other freedom fighters, you'll also see Eva Doyle there. Back to you.